solve problem on inventory models with price breaks given question find the optimal order quantity for a product for which the price breaks are as follows quantity 0 is less than q is less than 500 unit cost rupees 10 quantity 500 is less than or equal to q is less than 750 unit cost rupees 9.25 quantity 750 is less than or equal to q unit cost rupees 8.75 the monthly demand for the product is 200 units storage cost is 2% of the unit cost and the cost of ordering is rupees 100 This question was asked University of Madras BSc Math November 2012 Chennai University 2002 PTU MBA May 2002 PU BCom 2000 In this question different prices are mentioned for the different quantities so this is the question for the models with price break let us understand the given data Demand rate is given. R is equal to two hundred units per month. Ordering cost C three rupees hundred per order. Storage cost we can say inventory carrying cost or inventory holding cost C one is to two percent of unit cost. That is two by hundred unit cost. Now here the table is given for quantity and unit cost. So when quantity is in between zero and five hundred, so we can say that zero is less than Q. Is less than five hundred. Then unit cost is rupees ten. Now when the quantity is five hundred or above five hundred, that is five hundred is less than or equal to Q, and Q is less than seven fifty. Then unit cost is rupees nine point twenty five. Now when the quantity is seven fifty or more than seven fifty, that is. When seven fifty is less than or equal to Q, then unit cost is rupees eight point seventy five, and we can we have to find out what is the optimal order size. That is, we have to find out what is the economic order quantity. So for this question, we have to first find out what is the economic order quantity for different prices, and we have to start from the lowest price. so we will start from this so first step is to find out the economic order quantity and check out its feasibility so lowest price price in between these three prices is rupees 8.75 so we will take this first so what is the economic order quantity at rupees 8.75 so how to write this so we have to take under root of 2 c3r by c1 Now C three, C one, and R values are known. We will put. So what is the value of C three? That is hundred. Then R value is two hundred divided by C one. Now here C one is two by hundred into unit cost. So here unit cost is mentioned eight point seventy five. So we have to take zero point zero two into eight point seventy five, and we have to take the square root. So its answer is four seventy eight units. Now this cost is applicable when the quantity is seven fifty or more than seven fifty, and here this quantity is less than seven fifty. So this is not feasible. So as this price is not feasible, so we will move to the next. Price that is rupees nine point seventy five. So again, calculate economic order quantity with price nine point seventy five. So same formula we have to apply two C three R by C one. So two into hundred into two hundred divided by C one. So C one is zero point zero two into unit cost. Now here unit cost is nine point twenty five. So zero point zero two into nine point twenty five, and we have to take this square root. So here four sixty five units. Now, if we observe, this price is applicable for the quantity five hundred or greater than five hundred, but this is less than five hundred, so this is also not feasible. So we have to move to the next price that is rupees ten. So E O Q with price ten that is under root of two C three R by C one. So same 
formula 2 into 100 into 200 divided by 0 0.02 into 10. We have to take square root. So answer is 447 units. Now this rupees 10. This price is applicable for quantity less than 500. And this quantity is also less than 500. So this is the feasible solution. That means we can take here the economic order quantity that is the value of QO is 447 units. Now with this optimal lot size we have to find out the cost. So how to find out the cost? So when the lot size is optimal or the cost with economic order quantity we have formula. So total cost per month for 447 units that is we can say in the bracket QO. Formula is 27C3R plus CR that is we have to take this first, first term in square root. So square root of 2 into C1. So C1 we have to take 0 0.02 into unit cost is 10 because this QO is applicable for price 10. So I have to write here 0 0.02 multiplied by 10 into C3 that is 100 and R 200 plus. So we have to take the square root for this total answer and we have to add plus 10 multiplied by 200 because here price is given. So unit cost so this price is nothing but C and R is 200. So here what is the answer rupees 2089.45. Now we will calculate the total cost at the price break. Now if we observe here unit cost is rupees 10 and here is rupees 9.25. So this cost lowers from 10 to 9.25 when quantity Q is equal to 500. So we will calculate what is the total cost when the lot size is 500. Then the next price break is taking place from this rupees 9.25 to rupees 8.75 when the quantity Q is 750. So we will also calculate the total cost when the quantity Q is 750. So how to calculate? So total cost for Q is 500 units. So this size is non-optimal size. So we have to mention non-optimal lot size. So for this non-optimal lot size that is Q is equal to 500. We have to use the formula Q by 2C1 plus C3R by Q plus CR. Now for the quantity 500 units when Q is equal to 500 units because here it is mentioned that 500 is less than or equal to Q. So when Q is equal to 500 units, what is the cost C? So C is 9.25. That is C is equal to rupees 9.25. So we have to refer here 9.25 for this calculation. So Q by 2 that is 500 by 2 C1. So C1 is... 2 by 100 that is 0 0.02 into unit cost. So unit cost is 9.25. We have to refer this plus C3 R by Q. So C3 is 100 R by Q that is 200 by 500 plus C R. So C 9.25 into R that is 200. So when we calculate we will get rupees 1936.25 per month. Now next total cost for Q it's 750. So when Q is 750, so this is also non-optimal size. So we have to mention here. And for this non-optimal size, we have to use the formula Q by 2C1 plus C3R by Q plus CR. Now here we have to refer the cost. So when Q is equal to 750, it is mentioned that 750 is less than or equal to Q. So when Q is equal to 750, Cost C is rupees 8.75. So we have to refer this cost. So 750 by 2 into C1. So C1 is 0 0.02 into 8.75 plus C3 that is 100 R by Q 200 by 750 plus CR. So cost is 8.75 into 
are 200. So which is equal to rupees 1842.30 per month. Now we have to compare the cost. So total cost with economic order quantity or with optimal lot size it is 2089. So cost with 500 units it is 1936 and cost with Q is 750 it is 1842. So here this cost is minimum or lowest cost is when optimal lot size is sorry only lot size because this is non-optimal lot size. When Q is equal to 750 then cost is lowest. So we have to take the order for 750 units.